श्री रामचंद्राय व्यो नमो नम नमस्ते सते सर्वोकाशया नमस्ते चिते विश्व विश्वता नमो धैत्वत्वाक्ति नमो ब्रह्मणे व्यामेक जगत का कारण है यू आर द रूल ऑफ द यूनिवर्स और स्वयं विश्व रूप है दव लोन आर द क्रिएटर प्रिजर्वर एंड डिस्ट्रॉयर ऑफ द यूनिवर्स द वर्ल्ड हाईएस्ट इमूवेबल एंड एब्सोल्यूट ओ डिवाइन फादर श्री राम हैव कंपैशन ऑन अस सिया पति राम चंद्र की जय प्रभु श्री नारायणेभ्यो नमो नम श्रीराम की पावन शिष्य के आप सबके प्राण में मिले गए मैं भगवान राम को धन्यवाद देता हूं क्योंकि उन्हीं की कृपा से हम आज उनका गुणगान करने लिए इकते हुए है मेरे ब्रदर सिस्टर्स मास्टर सेवनीज डिप्ट मंदरी परिचयाल जी मैं महादेव जी समय सिंह न्यायाधीश एंड अदर पंडित फोगेट मी इफ डोंट कॉल योर नेम बिकॉज आई नॉट नो ऑल द नेम्स द पंडित्स व्हाट आई बाउ फॉर ऑल यू and you all very brilliant and all of you are brilliant more than me so i bow to your brilliance lord and brothers and sisters mother pita mothers and father let me take this opportunity to welcome all of you here tonight to this beautiful yagya and i do hope your minds will be inspired by the beautiful bhajans we have had i want to thank the kirtan group and all those who sing so far you have made set the, the pace of the yagya and also tonight from the reading of from the ram charitamanas as narrated by goswami tulsidas ji let us give thanks to sri ram for whose blessings we have been able to be here tonight the last time i read here there are many people who are here are not here tonight they have gone beyond and we wish all the way they are those who attended you those yes men they can't be here tonight because they are not in this world special prayers go out to them may their souls rest in peace those of us who are here tonight after all the pandemic and all the problems of this world and we are still safe and sound we ought to give bhagwan thanks again and again so then i just do, do sit back and relax as we commence tonight katha from ayodhya kand the second kind of the ramayan so it have to be a very important day is india independence day bharat mata 75th independence anniversary i don't want to go too much into it but couple things couple two things may come to mind there are lots of things that things that india 
has given to the world. I know by the end of the week, Pandit Srinathji and other Pandits will tell you them. I did a long list the last time I read it. I can't believe what I read on the 15th of August to the last time I read it. I remember because something very important. One thing India has given the world is zero. As a math teacher, I never forget that because in my research for a thesis, a math thesis, I found out, I said, India given zero, what is that now? But then I realized something that is without the zero, they, I mean with the zero in fact, they made calculations so very easy that man was able to go to the moon. But the system is called the Hindu Arabic system or numeration system that the world used today. It is called the Hindu Arabic system. Well, Arabic, Arabs had nothing to do with the coining of the zero. But this calculation, this um, math was used in India. And the Arabs, like right, nomads, they traveled from country to country to trade. And when they saw this beautiful way the Indians had of counting and doing their math, they borrowed it and they carried it around the world. And that's how their names got into the system, Hindu Arabic system. That alone, the world supposed to stand India again and again. Lots of things that were discovered in India were stolen by the English. And they put their names on those things as if they have discovered them. And to go on, we can go on and on again, but one thing I want to thank Bharat Desh for is our great grandparents who left India. And we want to thank those souls tonight to come to go to Guyana, that we have an opportunity to be here tonight. They bear all the foundations that we can have a good life, the offsprings, children and grandchildren. My dear brothers and sisters, and the other thing important thing too, I want to wish my son Bobby and his wife Tina a very happy second and wedding anniversary. I don't know why he chose to marry and I get married, but I want to wish my wife too happy 46th <laughs> wedding anniversary. I don't know, I got a son, he just following me. I was married in 15 of August, he married in 15 of August. My first child was a girl, his first child was a girl. I think he wouldn't become just like Mari and be happy anniversary. He a happy anniversary too. In Ramayan, when we did brothers and sisters, you know, there are seven kinds. Last night you heard from uh, Baal Khan. And these seven kinds, Baal Khan, Yudha Khan, Arayn Khan, Lanka Khan, Uttar Khan, uh, Sun, I like Sundar Khan, the beautiful Khan, you know, Sundar Khan, Sundar Khan, beautiful. And all these Khans are beautiful and sweet. And it was a very point to us on other occasions. The Ramayana is sweet in the beginning, it is sweet in the middle, and it's also sweet in the end. You can open Ramayana anywhere, and it's still sweet and beautiful. And the book is called the Ram Charitra Manas. Manas means a lake, and Charitra means the stories of who? Sri Ram Charitra. The stories of Bhagwan Sri Ram. As such, this book is called the Ram Charitra Manas. And for a little information for you, the Ram Charitramanas was the brainchild of somebody very special, our sweet Lord Shiva. And uh, he gave Tulsidasji special spiritual powers that Tulsidasji, I use the word, was able to compile this beautiful epic, the Ram Charitramanas. And uh, Lord Shiva not only gave the inspiration to Tulsidasji, but he also coined the name Ram Charitramanas. He gave them this book a special endorsement that by even listening to these Chopais and the Dohas in this book, one is best. And as he, he coins all this, he sings the glories of Sri Ram with a loving heart. From the lips of Lord Shiva, 
जय राम रमान राम नंग साम नंग राम नंग साम नंग मैं ताप ये गाय कुल पाही जनम जय राम In this life, in this world, we have these contrasting situations. We have birth and death. Janam ran sab duk suk 
we have happiness and sadness aliya we have losses and gain and milan bhi hoga milan bhi hoga union with those we love and separation and this can have all these contrasting situations that we are facing in this world today so that we face in this world is not new it's written down in the books of a long long time and that's why we got taken evenly so in this in bag in um ayodhya kand we have these contrasting situation and they take one you to and bring out your eyes to see you know, this this two um uh, experiences happiness and sadness and you sometimes see the same thing that make you happy the same thing make you sad something you pray for so much and you expect you get happiness from this thing you're praying for and the same thing cause pain and the same thing cause happiness is not true sometimes as we are ready to smile sadness strikes sometimes you're happy in full in the full i mean home and the phone rings when you are happy and all the happiness change and sadness step in but this is the world we live in this is a play of the world so let us dive into this part of the lake of the ram and tramanas before i do so nilam bhojam shamal komalangam sital samaro pitubhar mahagam पारणव महसाय गजाचापम नमा राम रघुवंशनाथम नमा राम रघुवंशनाथम आई अडोर श्री राम द लॉर्ड ऑफ रघुज रेस हूज लिम्स आर डेलिकेट एंड डार्क एज अ डार्क टू लोटस who has seated in strong on the left hand side and who holds in his hands in fallow arrows and a gracious bow siya pati ram chandra ki jai sanam prabhu to siraji beautifully he starts this kand jai ram sri ram jai jai ram राम जय राम जय जय राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम
from a time Jabati Ramu Vyahi Gharaye Nityanava Mangala Modabadhaye From a time Sri Ram returned to Ayodhya as a wedded person accompanied by his beautiful queen Sitama rejoicing continued on a daily basis in Ayodhya. Like people did not want to stop sporting. There was music and dancing everywhere in the city's picture. In the streets they were dancing, there was music. And everybody was rejoicing. There was no hot you know, the state, the state of Ayodhya was so very pleasant. That's why he, he couldn't let his father's. He was so joy to see everyone so happy in his, in his kingdom. The palace, everybody was bringing, bringing her happiness. And two siddhas, she's not mincing words to, this, to describe the happiness that was experienced by the folks in Ayodhya. He said the 14 spheres stood at an end. And with clouds of merit, poured showers of happiness on our, on the city of Ayodhya. Such was a beautiful part. This and this Ayodhya Khan started with so much happiness. What can stop Ayodhya to become sad? Me, not to continue to be happy. There's no sadness nowhere. And even to that, added to that, when Sitama and Shikam walked back to Ayodhya, read his CD, Samiti Nadi Suhave, there was success, affluence, prosperity flowed. Like a bounty, like a bounteous river. Everybody became successful. Everyone became happy. Everyone was so very happy. They can stop, stop enjoying themselves. The citizens, the citizens of Ayodhya, looking at Sita and Shiram, in all their hearts, they had one common desire only. Everybody in Ayodhya now, looking at Shiram and Sita, Ma, they only had one desire. And what his desire was, what his desire was, I think even the, the, the citizens of Ayodhya, they want to continue this enjoyment. You know, you got a wedding, you got, uh, you got a reception, you know, I don't know. In Ghana, you never have a reception, you might I know Kamiya, you don't know. But sometimes Kamiya lasts a whole week, you never know. Something like home. <laughs> You had a wedding and took about every morning and started to wash pot and then after wash pot, sports start again. So something is happening here in Ayodhya. Isn't that true? Some people can't just get rid of them. They, they come back every day. They just come back. They go to have break ten, they go wash pot, they go to something, but they come back. So Kangan continues. So the people in Ayodhya, after they experience this joy of Shiram, the marriage of Shiram and Sitama, I can see them together now with their own eyes. They are party, they want this party to continue. So what is in your minds? Sabake Uda Abhimai Suvasan Kahayiman Ahimahetesu Apua Chatta Jubara Jubara
They were praying to Lord Shiva. They prayed to Lord Shiva. They prayed to Lord Shiva. They were praying to Lord Shiva. Man, here's Uncle Ragan. We had enough of that, Shiva. He's a big man now. Time for him to take a rest. And that what Shankar Bhagavan must do, that Shankar Bhagavan, that he may influence the king to install Sri Ram as king of Yodhya, and he must retire, and he must retire. That now he's an old man, now he have a good, this is a masterful replacement to the kingdom. I was thinking of this today, you know, as I was reading this part of the line, and I was thinking of the Queen of England. Should I say more? Anybody know the Queen of England? She's an old, old, old lady. I mean, I'm old too, so I can't say old. But she's her 90s. I know something. She ain't retiring for no money. Hey, that's what's a much young guy than that. And the people of Yodhya, they want him to retire now. And that Sri Ram, a capable, a younger person, with sweet personality, gracious, that he may be the king of Ayodhya. I think what is in the mind too, that there is a coronation, the sport, and the parties, and the music will continue in Ayodhya. King Dashrat in the palace. He was basking with happiness. He is happy every single day. And everyone in the palace was overjoyed. Dashrat too, he wanted to continue his happiness. And he had the same thought. Apparently, Lord Shiva really influenced him. He had the same thought. And the story goes, he saw some gray hair and he's got an old man now. You know, if you got one gray hair, touch your old man, my Darbazi. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like myself too. So he thought he's an old man and now you know he needed a replacement too. He thought the same thing. And so he invited his guru Vishishta to the palace. And I, I want to give you a story you know, then, then the, the little philosophy. You know, he invited his guru Vishishta in the palace. And after he gave him due respect to his guru, he gave him a nice place to sit on. Today I came in at the gate, I did not know who planned this. But four girls came and they grabbed me and put me on the chair to sit there. And they went down in a good bath. As if I didn't be today, you know. And Sandan and a whole other thing. My feet was in a bad condition, I was so ashamed to go with my socks. No. But that's the kind of that's the kind of welcome. That that's what gave to his Guruji Vishishta. Your Guruji come to your house, you gotta come to him outside. You know? And you gotta bow to his feet, you gotta bring him in your house nicely. Don't let him wait outside too long. You, you expect Guruji come, you look over him all the time. Like Serima and Shiram. And after he gave Vishishta a nice seat, he explained to the Guruji what was on his mind. Kahi bualu sunya munya yatin Jai Ram Sri Ram Jai Jai Ram Sri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai
What was his desire? And Dasar took his station in part with Guru what he wanted from him that day. Sabbidi Guru Vasrachanita Jiyajani Bole Hurahus Rahinat Nidhukari Jahiram Sreta Jai Jai Guru was pleased 
you want to guru's blessings, go and make sure the guru is pleased. Go and make sure the guru is in good frame of mind. And uh, when he saw his guru very pleased, he told him in gentle terms, very gentle tone, Siram Chandraku, Yuvaraj Kar Dene Chahi. He said, Guruji, this is my iksha, this is my desire. Please install Sri Ram, king of Ayodhya. And I want something more from you. I want you to be charged of all the preparations for this coronation of Sri Ram. And again, that's what the thing. He wants this enjoyment, this happiness to continue in Ayodhya. What well, is the problem? In nobody life, my dear brothers and sisters, just like life's creation, nobody can be happy forever and ever. Take my word for it. And nobody can be sad forever and ever. Because these two, duk or soap, they punctuate each other. Your happiness is punctuated by sadness, and then you have sadness, and then happiness is real sad again. So Dasaji is so very happy. Janakapur mein Danush Tohra My father's song, Pani Sahadeo Prasad Tiwari Janakapur mein Danush Tohra Vivaha Jaya Sri Chaku Umedo Lal Jasu That son never left this palace, the main palace. And his lady lives in that palace. His expert, we are told. And her name is Kaushilya Ma. And I want to give a little philosophy because I was asked this question. Some people might think different than me, but this is my interpretation and my you know, research. That there is a, there's a reason why that son is so happy in that palace. And so far, he never ventured out of this palace where this beautiful, most gracious lady is. And this lady is called Kaushalya Ma. And when I look at the philosophy of Ramayana, Kaushalya Ma represents Shakti. And wherever there is Shakti, there is happiness. Wherever Shakti exists, in our home, in your lives, there is happiness. Shakti means more than, you know, a spiritual lady. It's the power within us to make all the good decisions and good choices that will make us happy. Somebody asked me, a Hindu person, too, an older guy, he asked me, older than me, Parijay, do you, do you do Hindus believe in monogamy? I think what part of monogamy, you don't know. It means one man to one wife. So I didn't know, I didn't think where he said that. I said, of course Hindus believe in monogamy. He said, Paniji, if I marry two ladies, would that be good in Hinduism, in the eyes of Hinduism? We said, no, not in a million years. 
you know, but you like two wife. Okay, question are you? You got seven Hindu? And I get I get cross that guy. He said, find the holy horses. He said, one of the main characters in, in your mind, you read, have three wives. And it's accepted, but I can have two. I said, but you got me now. And I couldn't think that, that moment, you know, and it's true, but he's saying the glasses and it's a Hindu person. Did that shot really have three wives? You know? And what you see, these things are written, and there is philosophy back of it. And we have to look for those little, little answers to these problems when I was in Jesus College. One of the Christian brothers, he went to the library, he found the Mahabharata, a big Mahabharata like this, in the library. And he underlined a part in Mahabharata in the very beginning, with yellow, bold yellow, what do you call it, thing, highlight, no? That Lord Krishna had 16,786 wives. I said, this got me. He said, but here is something, this is in your book. Look at here. And he highlighted, you go to Mahabharata and see it too. I have a Mahabharata, exact same thing. He says, Lord Krishna has 16,000, I think 786 wives. I did not know how to answer this fellow, but that was a good mouth. And he said, I said, so get my smile. I said, what's the problem? He said, you guys have a sweet man God here. <laughs> and I said, I said, here's something. I said, here's something. That is God indeed. Because no man is capable of having 16,000 and more wives. And for somebody to have 16,000, what? I just think this thing came from nowhere. Maybe one which thing is part of me, that he had to be God. I said, brother, you bring any man to me anywhere in the world, and he has 16,000 wives, I'll bow to his feet. He is God. <laughs> well, I didn't have an answer for him. But I mean, as I get older, we become pundit and stuff like that, and I started doing research now. What I realized? That these 16,000 people, they call Shiva, um, Bhagwan Krishna, they call him Swami. You know, a wife called a husband, you know that? A wife called a husband Swami. And Swami means a husband. But Swami also means God, and the person who explains the thing. Instead of saying that they were devotees of the Lord, they put as wives of the Lord. So Bhagwan Krishna never had 16,000. They were devotees. He had a tremendous amount of devotees. You know? And people found joy being associated with him. So it's one story. No, that's what she, I'm thinking now, and I think you will defer me. I like to defer me. How the problem? Hinduism, I learned for a long time, no one is right and no one is wrong. To everything you can find two answers to, and more. So, Kaushilya represent this experience of Shakti. And wherever Shakti exists, there will be happiness. And that is why, because that's what now leaving the body so far. And that's why this happiness continues with destiny. And Shakti is that power within us that we can make all the right choices. Of course, the feet and the feet come from female too. So, Kaushile Ma represents Shakti. And that is why the whole palace is happy. And uh, Wherever she, and again I'm saying, wherever she exists, Kaushilya Ma, there will be happiness. And she lived in Dashrat's palace, the main palace, where Dashrat has his master bedroom, Kaushilya Ma lived in that palace. And uh, Dashrat now lives in, so he's basking in happiness. And wherever we have Shakti, we'll find to in our lives too, we we'll have happiness. So preparation starts with the coronation. The world is going like by the wildfire. But Shishtamuni started engine up for the coronation, and that's what wanted to speak up and to spread good tidings of this, I mean, of this coronation to the whole village. And now, what happened now? In his happiest mood now, he decided to go to meet one of his favorite queens, and her name is Kekahima. He was a favorite queen. Now, he wanted to go to her now and spread the tidings of the coordination with this special queen, Kekahi. So what happened now? For him to go Kekahi, he had to leave the Shakti zone. He had to leave the Shakti zone. And what he found, 
and gave him a, I'll give you the, the, her, her, her situation eventually. What she found, what he found, he wanted to go there and to be happy. Because Ekahima represents beauty, elegance, sweet smelling, you know, power. And when he goes there, he really finds happiness. And so he goes to her place now. He is leaving his Shakti zone now and he is going out to Ekahima now. Jai Ram Sri Ram, Jai Jai Ram, Sri Ram Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. condition. She lied on the ground. Bhumi sayana padumota purana diye dharita na bhushana nana. She lied on the ground with some old clothes on. Hair shubla. No hair makeup. No, no makeup. In those days they have makeup too. <laughs> she had no makeup. And all her jewelry was just chain through this way, hearing the, uh, the nose ring things on around the house, around her. Dasrat never saw Kekahi in this condition. He always go and see a beautiful woman, well dressed, you know. Unlike some of our ladies in the house, they look anyhow. I always think of that, you know. In the house, they have no hairstyle, no makeup, none down, old tear cloth and everywhere around the house. And when I gotta go out on the street, they take one out in front of the mirror and paint them over the face. They wear the nicest dress. And put on good jewelry too, and nice perfume too, to go out for all to see them. The poor husband at home was sitting lady in old clothes, no hairstyle. No 
Imagine, okay, that's what is accustomed to see KPD Ma. Beautiful, well decorated, and everything today is seen this KPD Ma. On the ground, they are starting to be in distress. He's still quiet, you know. Jai Nikhat Nipo Kahai Nidubani Prana Priyaki He to resani. Again, he's still trying. He's still trying. He went close to her now, and the king spoke in a soft voice. What he said to her? He said, My dear, my darling, my sweetheart. Can I use the word here? Yes, of course. My sweetheart. He said, why are you so angry? Why are you so angry? You are my soul's delight. Why are you so angry? And he reached out to touch her shoulders. Very, very gently, a gentle touch on her shoulders. And what she did? She took her hand and slapped his hands away. All the men who are here tonight, how many times it happened to you? I can't ask my children because his wife never got angry. <laughs> Not too? When you get angry, when you're not going to be able to talk, talk, talk. How many times happened to you? Where, you know, they're angry, trying to find a sign, and just slap your hands away, you know, keep far. Never happened to me before. You didn't hear that. So you ask her, he, she, she slapped the king's hand away from her. Now, Kekehima means business. Now, this second wife is another wife, I, I think, philosophy. That this take that he represented Maya. So first, Tauchinama, that experience is Shakti. Noble, goodness, happiness, pleasantness. Kekahima represents Maya. Maya is beautiful. Maya is very exciting. You know? Maya is glitz and glamour. Maya is powerful. But think it is Maya, Maya is a real tool. So Keke Hima, that is where that's an experience. He went out of Shakti zone and decided to go into the world now. As we have all done. You look ourselves too. We have these three wives. When we were so small, we had Shakti. And we never hate anybody. We never had covetousness. We never had jealousy. But since we start to up and start getting different things, we start getting jealous, we start hating other people, we start envy, and all these things come into us. Maya has an influence over us. And Kekahi presented Maya, beauty, entertainment, gifts and glamour, excitement, riches, power. She represents Maya represent all these. So she represents Maya. And all of us, none of us can say from that, my dear friends, the best of us will go after Maya. And that is where we find our, 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 our dilemma. And the same thing in Maya is a good thing. Although it gets some glamour and pain ha happiness, it also brings sadness. So now, the Ashwati now is entangled in Maya. And that's what it classifies as second wife, Maya. What does Kekahi he wants? Why is she angry? Jai Ram, Sri Ram, Jai Jai Ram, Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram, Jai Ram, Sri Ram, Jai Jai Ram. Oh, 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 
glitters, not gold. So the glitz and glamour, the cake he ma, now that such now his happiness is come to an end. So the prana priya bhavan jika deka uika bada bharati dika. He said, My first Maya can put us, before I say that, Maya, my dear brothers and sisters, can put us on top of the world and also he can bring us to our knees. Here, that's what is coming to his knees. He got taken him at once, her son Bharat, to become king in Sri Ram. And not only that, this is the killed of Dashati, that Sri Ram was gone for 14 years in, in exile and he was lived a life of a hermit. He can't go to no city and he'll wear regular ascetic clothes for his 14 years in exile. And this most powerful king, Dashati, this king who has won many wars, who is brilliant in the science of the scriptures of Sanatana Dharam, he rolled on the floor. And my dear brothers and sisters, the pity of all of us, even the most brilliant of us, happens to me, I can't be happy anybody. You know, when we go after Maya, Maya's illusion, it'll make us come to our knees and roll on the ground like that's what, that's why we must stay in Shakti zone. How can we go to this? Maya has a hold in him now. And uh, he got to dance to the tune of Maya. You know, there's a we sing it's a beautiful, a beautiful ballad. Don't forget that in class. What are you stop chanting? What are you stop? What are you stop? Are we stop already? Fifty nine, fifty. तूने राजा रंग बनाए, तूने पीछे राज बैठाए, तूने राजा रंग बनाए, तूने पीछे राज What we are saying is real, is not real. Let's close our eyes tomorrow morning. We can boast today who we are, and how much intelligence we have, how much money we have, how much connections we have. But tomorrow we close our eyes. It's all right here. It was just an illusion. And Maya is a mirage, you know. On a hot day you're walking and you're very, very hot. But in distance you see a beautiful lake ahead of you. And the more you walk, what happened? The more the lake move far away. And you are trying to reach that lake. And that is Maya. 
that the more we get, the more we want, and the more we try to hustle in towards the thing. And that is our downfall, my dear brothers and sisters. And so, the point is reminding us, let us choose God. Banaman, the Lord wants to come to our heart. Tu Shakti. Don't choose Maya. Tu Shakti. Because Shakti, or Kaushilya Maha, when we choose that, Bhagavan will build his temple in our hearts. My dear brothers and sisters, and I want to, I know time is come to an end, I wish we could have time run so fast when we have these things. But Sri Ram, let me go, let me skip. Sri Ram, Sri Ram came, I was invited now into this conversation. And when he was told, when he was told that he has to go to exile, this is what he had to say. And imagine, you know, when he be so wise, if you call a son in the morning and tell the son, why is he this house? Hey, guy, hey, I'm going to give you this house. It's going to be your house. You can imagine you call a son in the afternoon and tell him, buddy, I'm taking back this house from you. I'm going to give sis sister, I'm going to give cousin or somebody else. They're not going to room and hide. <laughs> now our son is good. My last song by the night, Jai Rama Zi Ram, Jai Jai Rama, Zi Rama Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. He said there are very few of those in this world. There are very few in this world. Children who look and his is in this New York City worse. Very few children obey the parents' command. But he said those who do that, he said they are special in the eyes of God. Children who obey the parents' command is how God do. And you are special, you know, in the in the Lord's eye. I tell you something, when we were small, we had no choice. We could get some good lashes. 
we enter a set, me with bouncing something. You now listen to your parents nowadays, you're a dead man. The red children don't that scared the parents, the red children curse the parents and things like that. You know, we had no choice, but we have to listen to our parents. And no wonder that many of us, older folks, we have blessed it. Because Bhagwan Chiyam is saying this. He said, a child who would love to follow the parents' command. He said, a child, they're real in this world, but they are special in the eyes of God. A child who listens to the parents will have success, will have glory, will have victory. And together with that, they will be happy. Any child who listens to the parent, you show me a child who obeys all the parents' command. I'll show a child who's successful. I'll show a child who will be victorious. I'll show, you, I'll show a child who will be very, very happy. I will succeed any way he goes or she goes. So my dear brothers and sisters, she um, said to her, not the one to that. Let me do the last the one and finish off my thought. Munigaram Milanu Munigaram Milanu Piche I'll join the, the, the hermits very happy and it will be beneficial to me because I have this burning desire to do that. At the same time, I'll be obeying my parents' command. And these are the beautiful words of Shiham. He was never angry. He was never angry when I shot, saw something. That shot is seen. He is in the ground lying down there, almost unconscious, but he looked at Shiham's face. And he remembered the morning when he called him to give him the king of Yodhya. He saw the exact emotion being displayed when the kingdom was taken back from him in the afternoon. Exact emotions. N not happy or sad. Exact emotion. He was not too happy when he received it. And he was not too sad when he lost it to equal disposition. I don't want to make it short and, 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 and conclude here tonight. That's what he now. He became unconscious, he lied the floor. She had decided to go to the forest, you know. And that's what he, he couldn't move. He left Shakti Zone, Kaushinema. He came to Kekahi, Maya. He engrossed himself in Maya tremendously. Now he is ashamed to go back. I read in the book, the book says he's ashamed to go back. But he couldn't face Kaun Sri now. After he gave Bharat King now and Ram, Sri Ram had to go exile. How do you face Shakti? We are told he went to Sumintra. Sumintra the last wife, we never heard too much of her in her eye. You never heard she spoke anywhere. I don't think she spoke to Pajilani. Did Sumintra speak anything anywhere? I can't remember. Very quiet individual, very sweet personality. She had to be beautiful, but that's why he could marry her. So she was an ordinary lady, very beautiful, but very quiet and very humble. So she went, he went to her palace, and Sumintra represented humility. So this is the three environments that Shat takes himself for in. And I, now three wives, three experiences. Shakti in his palace, Maya, and then for us to get back to Shakti, we go out in this world and involved in Maya, we gotta come back, we gotta get back something called humility. We gotta become humble again to regain Shakti. So that's how Sumintra came now. Sumintra now is a humble experience of Dasaji. If I meet my friend now, I'll tell him this. 
that you're not three wives, there are three experiences that Dexter G really had. The first, Shakti, very, very happy and very noble. And then he ventured into Maya, illusion, the unreal world. And for him to get back to Shakti, the real world, he had to humble himself. And really humble himself in the, how, in the palace of Sumitra. And then he was able to go back to his own palace. My dear brothers and sisters, again, I want to thank all of you. I want to thank the sponsors for this beautiful year. I want to thank them for giving me the opportunity again this year um, to be in the dance. I hope I, I, I um, live up to the expectations. And again, I want to thank all of you for coming here tonight. It's, I know it's difficult and pandemic and everything, but to leave your home and come. Everybody watching television now at home. And may Bhagwan, Sri Ram, whatever blessings us and us, may He bless all of you. If you are in any kind of difficulties, any kind of problems, I do pray that I want Sri Ram intervene your lives and to take away all those difficulties. If you are happy, and all of you are happy tonight, I do pray that Sri Ram bless you to continue to be happy. I want to thank my wife today publicly for 46 years of marriage. And she will always be a beautiful wife. She puts your hands on you one or two times, but I can give you that. But now we have we have a very good life so far. Well, thank you very much. Mommy, congratulations to you. You're all a good son. Thank all the, the, the group, my, my, my son Chris and all the son. Thank you very much. In this Ayodhya Khan, we lost the light in this. Is uh, 
presentation, uh, reminding all of us that today is a very important day for India. August uh, the 15th, the 75th uh, independence anniversary of Bharat Mata. And because our four parents crossed this Kalapani and they went to Guyana, Trinidad, and the Caribbean, because they did that, we are sitting here tonight to listen to Raman Katha. If you look at the origin, the journey of it all that happened, uh, we thank Bharat Mata for this rich culture that all of us practice, for the harmony that we practice, and everything that is associated with our true identity as a product of the influence of Bharat Mata. Uh, as he ventured into the Katha, he told us of how all the citizens were very happy in a new heaven when Sri Ram and Sita Ma had returned from Janakpur as a wedded couple. And they all unanimously shared one common desire that was for Sri Ram to become the new king of Ayodhya. Dashrath also uh, shared the same thoughts. Uh, he was inspired. And uh, we must commend Radha Dashrath for his willingness and readiness to relinquish power when he thought it was the right time to do so. He was still healthy, he could have ruled on, as Gyasi said, the queen is old, and she will die, the queen. And only after she dies, then Prince Charles probably will assume the throne. And Prince Charles probably he got a long wait. <laughs> you don't have to more than three, not dying, any time soon. But Raja Vesha, you see, he didn't have to die in order for Sri Ram to send this through. He willingly uh, wanted to relinquish this and that his eldest son Sri Ram, who was most qualified and most accomplished, he had all the qualities to become the new king of India, right? And then, uh, preparation to India, and then, importantly, as he told us, of the king's reverence for his guru, the sister. You see, there's one person who he trusted, who he confided in, and who he had tremendous respect for, that was Guru Vasish. Guru Vasish not only served in Zanin Akers, but in political matters as well, and spiritual matters. And that's the true nature and uh, the capacity of a Guru. That's why you need, you have Gurus in your life. Anything that bothers you, any issue that bothers you, you seek the Guru's help. So, of course, he discussed this matter with his Guru, and with his ministers as well. And everyone was in agreement that, yes, of course, Sri Ram is the right candidate to sit at the throne to become the new king of Ayodhya. And then the plans were uh, upturned when Eka, he asked for the two bones, and Sri Ram uh, managed to put here to her son, Bharat, uh, become the new king of Ayodhya. Of course, all of this has to do with the divine clear the Yodhas, who weren't happy at all, because they wanted Sri Ram to go and destroy Ravan. So they went to Ma Saraswati, and Saraswati Ma had to inspire one woman who did a mantra, and if she got this impression from Saraswati Ma, she in turn inspired her mistress who was Kekehi, and then the story unfolded from that point onwards. Now, after Vyasi very beautifully told us the night, when Sri Ram heard these words that he was going to become the king of Ayutthaya, the Ram had a at the Bismaya Bhav, that, that line is so by the Yudhya Khan says, Sri Ram's heart was in dismay. Why? Because Janame who ate a son of Sabahai. He says that all his four brothers were all born together. Bhojan, Kela uh, Larkai, Bhojan Sayana Kela Larkai. We ate together, we slept together, we played together. And it is this only unseen blood on this Raghu dynasty is that the eldest son would be the one to sit at the throne. He couldn't share his throne with the rest of his brother. So he was sad. He wasn't happy. He wasn't ecstatic that he was going to sit at the throne. He would rather his brother have the throne. See, the material things didn't at all blind him. And then when Keita Hilal approached him and said, Now, you, you're not going to be sitting to the throne anymore. You're going to go to the forest for 14 years instead. Bharat is going to be sitting to the throne. And Rabiasi so beautifully told us, Suru Janani, so he suit the Bharat Bhagi, Jo Pituma to Bachan Anduragi, Kaleya Ma to Pitito Shakihara, Dura Lava Janani Sakal Sansara. The beautiful chokwai of the Ramayana, where Sri Ram is talking to every child. The blessed is a child 
who is ever obedient with fear and scones. Blessed is the child. Didn't say blessed is the parent and also the child. Of course the parents are blessed too, but blessed is the child who is able to serve the parents, like Salul Kumar, who is a, a, a very prominent name in our scriptures and tradition of his son who lived and sacrificed his own life for the sake of his parents. And many stories, similar stories are there that teach all of us of our duty, Mahatma Pitti Deva Bhava, Mother is Earthly God, Father is Earthly God, Acharya Deva Bhava, Adhiti Deva Bhava, all these personalities are revered in our tradition. Uh, so, Giyasi is a remarkably uh, splendid dog here tonight, explaining from the Yodhya Khan to Ramayin. And I can assure you now that after listening to your Katha tonight, all these ladies who are here, they'll put on makeup in your home. <laughs> And, and I never had the chance of hand hitting me in my home because I always say, check this out. <laughs> Don't be my vessel. Uh, and lastly, we want to congratulate you and our energy uh, for uh, 46, 46 years of Happy marriage. Please give a nice round of applause. Aliji, you are the true example of uh, the family person. You represent the sanctity of the institution of marriage. And uh, we salute you because you certainly lead by example. And every marriage couple, if you take a page of your book, of course, it will make society a much more stable one. Now, lastly, I'm listening to this, this drama here, and I'm thinking, who is playing this role right here? And all I'm seeing is Chris. Chris, you're amazing. You're amazing. I didn't hear you in a long time, as you know. Well, I, the last time I heard you, you were a little more healthy. <laughs> but you you were just brilliant tonight. Brilliant. Yeah. You're just brilliant. Give Chris a nice round of applause. I hope you come back every night and, and you play the bowler. And uh, except Saturday night. That Balu will be on the stage. <laughs> so, uh, again, a beautiful night. Did you all enjoy tonight? Yes. Yes. Was it wasn't beautiful? Yes. Let me hear you guys must. Yes. yes. Uh, and so this is what the Brahman Park is all about. For all of us to leave your home, you come here so beautifully in the outdoors, uh, sit very comfortably, listen to beautiful discourses from our beloved text of Sri Ramakrishna. What better place to be and what better discourse to listen to? CNN can match this, or not program your TV, you can match this. There is nothing better than the Ramani to listen to. You, you come here, you learn something, you leave the message, you feel so inspired, so uplifted, so fulfilled with the message, the glories of the Sri Ramakrishna Manas, coming from the lips of our Gyaschi and our dear, all of the who will be uh, reciting. Last night, another beautiful discourse we listened from Dalit Siratan, and tonight, another beautiful discourse from Dalit Mojanji. Tomorrow night, it continues uh, with this young Pandit, Sandhya, Pandit Ji, Pandit Rudeshkar Prasad. So, you heard not an old, but a senior lion roar tonight. You're going to hear the young lion roar tomorrow night. So, you got to come, you can't miss that. You got to be here. He's the son of uh, the general that, although his, his father is next to him. So, we all be here to support him tomorrow. Please come out. Please bring a friend with you or a family. I told you that last night, didn't I? Yeah. I did the same thing. I brought two with me. I brought the energy and the general, but I brought two persons with me. If you do the same thing tomorrow, I pick up my car to a brother. So if you do the same thing tomorrow, we are going to fill up this arena here. Uh, let's all come together, you know, as wonderful devotees of the one Sri Ram. And enjoy the Rama and enjoy this Rama in the park. We didn't have it for two years. Did you miss it? Yes. Yeah, so now we have it now. We've got to take advantage. Because hopefully, the other pandemic will come and stop this from happening again. So now we are here and we get a chance again to listen to our Rama. So please come out again, bring your friends, fill up all these empty chairs, come out tomorrow night in large numbers, listen to the young Vyas, and listen to Pandit uh, Mahadev Deo Prasad on Wednesday, 
to uh, Young Bali Vishnu Ram Prasad on the Vijayating on Thursday nights, Acharya uh, Arun Gosai on Friday nights, and on Sunday morning, there's Young Bali here, but it's uh, Prakash Vesthu Narayan. Brilliant young man, brilliant. You will really enjoy him. He will be presenting on Sunday morning as well. So this is the itinerary we have for the uh, rest of this week. And we do hope to see you fill up this tent here on the other side as well uh, every night. So thank you very much for your presence here tonight. May Bhagavan Sri Ram blessings be with all of you. Jai Sri Ram. Jai Sri Ram. Baharam Baharam Pranam
Thank you.